topic for week 13 is defending even number rush. So if you remember back to week 12, uh, just last week, we looked at how to create offense when you're in an even number situation. So a two on two or a three on three. And you'll remember we really talked about the idea of turning that into an odd man situation by two on one one of the defensemen. So by getting over closely supporting and picking on one of the guys or girls defending. Now this week we're going to look at what are the keys then when you have an even number rush coming at you. So there's keys for both the forwards and the defense. For the defense we're going to look at the gap, how important that is. We're going to look at a shift, so moving over towards the puck uh, so we don't stay out wide and allow our defense partner to, to become two on one. And we're going to look from a forward perspective at hard and smart back check. Um, and we're going to look at how the communication between the forward and the defenseman should work. So if we'll see, we're going to use the exact same clips so that you can go back to week 12 and look at how they worked offensively. So we're going to look at what the defensive group should do differently. So right here, we stop the clip. It's a three-on-three situation. We can see three black jerseys here going to get the puck and three jerseys in white. So right here... Uh, if we look at key number one, we talk about defense gap. And you can ask yourself, is this good gap? Is this good gap from the white defenders? The answer is no. If they just give back off and give up the blue line. We want to challenge the blue line as much as possible to force offside. So this defenseman now should be gapping up like so. This other defenseman, when I mentioned in the intro about the shift, a defensive shift is being not staying over here on your side, but shifting over all right, towards your partner because there's no threat on this far side of the ice. There's nobody over here. That defenseman doesn't need to stay there. So if we had better gap, this defenseman would shift over, be right here. Then this is where the communication and the smart back check comes in. These defense that I've labeled here should be communicating to this forward that he should pick up this third guy and we've got a simple man-on-man -man situation so here okay finally the forward does get his stick on it but it turns into a pretty dangerous chance if that gets through look at another example here so we see a bit better gap here by the strong side defenseman right here he's challenging at the blue line what we don't see is communication between this forward and this defense, and we don't see a shift. So this defenseman should shift over and communicate to this forward that he has that guy. That's what should happen in this situation. We would then have man-on-man -man here, man-on-man -man here, and a third man-on-man -man situation there, and there should not be any threat. Instead, Okay, the shift happens, but a little bit late and a miscommunication, dangerous scoring chance from creating that initial two-on-one. So if I back that clip up, the part that should not happen, number 14 here in black, should be confronted right away by that defenseman shifting over. Make it a lot more difficult for him. Take a look, just a couple other examples here. So this one... Really, it's a two on four, so really shouldn't have any threat. What we want to use this clip for, a little bit of gap teaching, but especially that shift. So right now, you've got a forward, forward, no threat on the opposite side of the ice right now. Defense, defense. These D need to shift over, shift over. It's okay to have both defense on that same side of the ice, because this forward here, will then cover off anything that happens on this side. Here you don't see a shift, deflection, fairly dangerous scoring chance from that. And here's the NHL clip that we looked at. Gap is just fair. The defense should be up a little bit closer. And here again we have an example where we could have a shift. Okay, there needs to be communication between D and forward. But these D could shift, shift, and this forward needs to get on the defensive side of this guy here. It ends up in a goal. 
simply because this defenseman is not covering off anything. He stays in the middle. He allows this forward here okay, to get his stick on the puck when he could have shifted over and closed that play off.